Hi everybody, I am going to be doing a video series every Tuesday and it's going to be sewing tips on Tuesdays because I see a lot of people struggling with sewing and they're actually making it harder than it is. So I just thought I'd give some tips uh, to help uh, beginner sewers sew a little bit better. I am sewing on a POF 2170, um, but you don't have to have such a fancy machine. You can just have uh, a regular, you know, a basic machine. It's just that my basic machine is black, so it's not going to show up that well on camera. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. And one of the tips I have is when you sew, right now I am sewing on a kitchen table, and you want to sew on something, a table that has a back and a side. Because if you sew on something smaller, your fabric is going to hang over the edges if you're working on a large piece of fabric and then your stitches aren't going to be correct. They're going to be stretched out, they're going to skip, they're going to bunch. So you really need to have a surface where your fabric can sit on the entire surface. And if you don't have that type of surface, you can make one uh, by adding, uh, a, for a long time I used an adjustable ironing board on the back of my table so the fabric laid across or on top of the adjustable ironing board. You know, just use your imagination. Make, make a bigger surface. And try to sew on something sturdy. If you sew on something flimsy like a card table or a TV tray, uh, the, the vibrations from the machine is going to make that table uh, vibrate and it's going to jump and your stitches aren't going to sew correctly. So one of the best advice I can get is to sew on a sturdy table um, when you're sewing. And I know it's not always possible, but just try. And always have a sharp pair of scissors. I, I prefer Fiskars. And that is these right here. And I used to get my scissors sharpened. But nowadays with Joann's like 40% off, 50% off, you can just get new ones cheaper than it would be to have them sharpened. But, uh, I, and no one uses the scissors. These are mine. These are fabric scissors. I don't use them on paper. And if anybody takes them to use them on anything else, their ass is grass. So, always have a pair of fabric scissors. And we're gonna start, and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna show you some basic uh, how to do certain things and how not to do certain things. So I'm going to try to get the camera uh, set up here and that, that seems to be good. So we're gonna go from here. And I got my, I gotta get my foot pedal in the right spot. Uh, one of the biggest things I see when people are sewing beginner sewers is these right here are your feed dogs and you need to let your feed dogs do the work. And by that, what I mean is I see a lot of uh, beginner sewers, they pull, they pull this fabric through. Don't pull it. Just look at, I'm not even touching the back. Just the feed dogs, I'm barely, see, I'm barely touching it. I'm just kind of guiding it. So, so let the feed dogs do the work. If you pull on this, you're going to end up with skip stitches, miss stitches, your needle's going to break, or your thread's going to end up bunching up on the bottom, and then your machine's going to get jammed. And always, when you come to an end of a stitch or the beginning, you back stitch. And my back stitch button, my reverse stitch button is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this button, and I, it's going to sew backwards, and you only have to do that for a couple of times. That locks in your thread. If you don't do that, your stitches will eventually come undone. So I'm going to show you this again. See, super sharp scissors. Very, very important. And have a pair of scissors that no one else can use for anything. These are your sewing scissors. And another trick is, because sometimes when you start out sewing, your um, your fabric will get sucked into this this abyss here, and 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 then it's nothing but problems. 
So I always try to start my sewing. I don't start it on the edge. See how it's, see that that's the edge. I move my fabric up a little bit so I can see that it's past the needle uh, point. And then I'm gonna start sewing. And a good thing to do is uh, put your needle down when you start sewing. That will eliminate some of the fabric abyss, you know, getting sucked into the abyss. So I'm gonna go a couple of stitches and then I'm going to push my reverse button and sew a couple more. See, it almost got sucked in. Did you see that? So I'm gonna move my fabric up a little bit and then I'm going to sew. And then when I get to the end, I'm done with this stitch. I'm going to push my reverse right here. This is my reverse. And I'm going to go a couple stitches in reverse. And then if I want, I'll go to the end. And these are my Tuesday tips and tricks for beginner sewers. So um, be sure to watch for a new video on Tuesdays. And hopefully the puppy won't be crying next Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.